I'm Linda Schneider, the Education Coordinator for Medina County Soil and Water Conservation District. Today we're going to talk about how to make a butterfly garden. What do butterflies need? They need sun, they need food, water, shelter, places to raise their young, and sustainable practices. We're going to talk about each of those things. First off, you want to have a sunny location in your yard. Butterflies love sun and so do the plants that we need to plant for them. So please start with a sunny location. Food. They need food all seasons, spring, summer, and fall. They also need food for not only the butterflies, but the caterpillars. So we call these nectar plants for the butterflies. And the nectar is a sweet juice that they drink from the flower to get energy. So some of the nectar plants you might want to consider for the spring, are common violets, wild geranium, and then for the summer, the purple coneflower and the black-eyed Susan are very low maintenance plants and they're great for pollinators and butterflies. And in the fall, we need asters, just like the ones behind me. These are New England asters. There's other different kinds of asters as well. Some goldenrods and maybe great blue lobelia. So those are some ideas for nectar plants for butterflies. The caterpillars, however, they eat host plants. What is a host plant? Mama butterfly comes along and she lays her eggs on the plant or near the plant. When that egg hatches out into a caterpillar, the caterpillar has a direct food source that mama has picked for them. That's what a host plant is, food for the caterpillars. And a host plant leaf will look like this against the white. It has holes in it. So those caterpillars are munching on those leaves. So if we talk host plants, you need to tolerate some holes in your leaves. This is a common violet and there is a butterfly that likes to eat this plant. I also want to say that native plants attract native species of butterflies. Our native butterflies do not want cultivars, hybrids, invasives, or exotics because they don't know what to do with them. They know what to do with native plants and so you're going to be looking for native plants that supply the nectar and the host plants. The next topic up which is water for these butterflies. Every creature needs water and butterflies are no different. So you have options of how to supply that water for them. I brought a shallow bowl and a platter. Those are both good choices. When I put them down on the ground, I want to make them look a little more natural to the butterfly. So I'm going to add some rocks to give them something to land on. These are just small stones that I found by the river. And then I'll add water. Looks like I need a more level spot. Okay. And then I leave those rocks popping through so that the butterfly can land on those and drink from the bowl. Okay. Another way to make a water source is to disturb the soil because butterflies like mud. So make a small depression like that. Fill it up with some water and wait to watch the butterflies. This is called puddling. They come to the mud source because they're looking for mineral salts and protein. Okay. Another object I have right here for you to look at is this rock. Okay, we'll take away the platter. Um, butterflies like to have landing pads so that when they fly into the garden, they can land on something flat. Also, they go to those rocks for heat. Remember, they like sun, they like warmth. And so a few rocks strategically placed in your garden will help attract the butterflies. So we talked about sun, we talked about food and water. Now we're gonna talk about shelter and places to raise their young and also sustainable practices. Shelter and places to raise the young with butterflies happen to be the same thing. The answer is trees and shrubs. 
They need shelter from the wind, the rain. They need to go high up and roost in the trees to stay away from predators at night. So those trees will help them. They don't have to be in the butterfly garden, but they have to be close enough by that the butterflies can spend the night there. Places to raise their young means that some of these trees are host plants for those caterpillars. So if you plant a native oak tree, you're going to be attracting 534 species of caterpillars. If you plant a sugar maple or a white pine, you're going to be bringing in one to 200 different varieties of butterflies. So if you plant these native trees in your yard, you're going to get the biggest bang for your buck because they're going to bring a lot of varieties of caterpillars. The last point is sustainable practices. What do I mean by that? I mean chemicals. These me little winged miracles that we call butterflies are very sensitive to chemicals. And the chemicals come at them from many angles. If you're spraying insecticides in your yard, please don't do it in your butterfly garden because that will be hurting who you're trying to help. But also, you need to know that the chemicals come on the seeds that you buy. They also come on the plants that you buy in the nurseries. So we're talking about sustainable practices. Okay? And when you go to your local nursery, ask them for the native plant section for butterflies. Okay? You want butterfly plants that don't have any systemic poison in them. And so they put it in the plants in nurseries to kill the insects. But what happens, a systemic goes into the entire system of the plant. It goes down into the roots, then it comes back up the stem, out the leaves, and out the very flower that we want to feed that butterfly with. So we want to make sure that the plants we're buying are native plants that have not had poison put into their system. So because of that, I have a list for you of native nurseries in Northeast Ohio that know about how to do the right thing for native plants have that. I also have some other free resources for you. I have a book called Backyards for Butterflies, which is an excellent publication from our Division of Wildlife, Department, Ohio Department of Natural Resources. I have a handout on attracting butterflies to your yard, and on the back it lists some of the common butterflies that we have here in Ohio and the native plants that you would want to plant for them. Very helpful sheet. This is National Wildlife Federation that put this one out, and I'm going to suggest that you certify your yard. If you have planted something for the butterflies, you're attracting wildlife to your yard. Both butterflies and birds will come to your wildlife garden, your butterfly garden. And so National Wildlife Federation has a program that we are a part of called Community Habitats. If you certify your yard at National Wildlife Federation's website, which is their initials, NWF, dot org backslash garden for wildlife you will be part of our community of wildlife habitats here in Medina County we are the first county in the state of Ohio and we're very proud of that to become a certified community wildlife habitat and what that means is that I've planted a butterfly garden and you're going to plant a butterfly garden and maybe you're going to talk your neighbor into planting a butterfly garden and that gives the butterflies a chance to have a corridor that they can fly different gardens to find nectar plants and, and host plants. So thank you for doing that. We'd appreciate if you joined our community. And the last thing I have as a free gift for you is a guidebook on butterflies. I also have one on moths, and moths are our nighttime pollinators. This book, if you look at the butterfly that you want to attract to your yard, Go to the section marked host plants, plant it and they will come. That's how you get butterflies in your yard. Plant their host plants and in a year or two you'll be finding those butterflies. So thank you for listening. If you would please subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch us on Facebook. I'm Linda Schneider with Medina County Soil and Water and I thank you for listening and I thank you for helping our butterflies and pollinators. If you'd like any of these free resources, just call us at Medina Soil and Water. Our phone number is 330-722-9322 and ask for the butterfly packet. We can arrange a pickup or mail them to you. Thank you.